Perrot here for the Outdoor Strangler doing another cooking with Colton piece for the hunting wire. We're here in King George, Virginia. And Colton, what are we going to be cooking today? So today we're going to be making a bourbon glazed smoked turkey dish over pasta with a cream sauce. This was a recipe that was given to me by Hank Tassotano. Hank's a longtime hunter, real successful turkey hunter, deer hunter. And he sh shared it on his Facebook page and graciously uh, gave me the recipe when I asked for it. It's takes a wild turkey breast and you brine it overnight in a high mountain seasonings, poultry and game brine and then you uh, pat some high mountain seasonings rib rub of all things on it. You know you wouldn't think rib rub on a wild turkey breast no, right? No not but, really. But it really adds a nice flavor to it. And then as it's cooking on the smoker you cook it to a uh, temperature of 165 degrees. Uh, you baste it about every 30 minutes with a bourbon brown sugar and butter glaze. I mean, how bad can that be? It really adds a great flavor profile to that finished product. A little sweet, a little bit of that, you know, that whiskey flavor on it. It's really good. So, and then you, when you add it to the uh, pasta with the cream sauce, add, add a little bit of bacon grease, some smoked sausage. You get kind of something like a carbonara dish, except you don't have the, the pancetta, you don't have the, the eggs and, and so on that you get in a traditional carbonara. But you get a lot of those same flavor profiles with that smoky, uh, elements to it. It's really good. Got some vegetable chopping to do so. I'm going to clear the decks here and let Colton start on the onions and peppers and garlic and then we're going to put this thing together. We're just going to cut up about a third of a pound of smoked sausage to add to the mix. Now we got our turkey breast all cooked up and we're just going to slice it up into some bite-sized chunks against the grain. And we're not going to need all these slices for a recipe, so we're probably going to put a couple aside for sandwiches later. We're going to get the skillet part of this dish rolling by adding about two tablespoons of bacon fat. And you could use butter or oil, but we think bacon fat's going to add just a little bit extra flavor and I think it'll be good. All right, so our bacon fat is ready to go. So we're gonna start off by adding a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Next, we're gonna add some minced onion and pepper, bell pepper. Give that a we're just gonna let this cook till it gets soft. All right, it looks like the vegetables lost a little moisture, so now we're going to add uh, a little bit of asparagus that we steamed in the microwave for about two minutes. And we're going to add our sausage and there's a little bit of garlic underneath it. Half and half, about a cup. Before we drain the fettuccine, we're just going to reserve a little bit of the water.
All right, let's plate this up and give it a try. Well, we dug some wild turkey breasts out of the freezer today and made a smoked uh, wild turkey breast with a bourbon glaze. Used our Camp Chef pellet uh, smoker and grill. I think this dish really works well with wild turkey because I think wild turkey breasts are naturally sweeter than a domestic turkey breast due to the nature of what a wild turkey eats. You know, it eats a lot more of a protein based diet. It really lends itself to smoking the meat this way. The, fl the flavors good. all come together. I mean, the asparagus, the peppers, mushrooms, onions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's healthy, but it sure tastes good. Oh, it's healthy. It's healthy. I don't know that it's unhealthy. We did put bacon fat in it, but, you know, hey. A lot of carbs, but. A lot of carbs. Yeah, a lot of carbs, a lot of protein, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fiber. Like I said, it's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think it's well-rounded. Well-rounded. That's, that's a good way to put it. Well, good hunting. And good eating. All right. Well-rounded. Mm. That's good. I'm already full. I snagged mm -hmm. too much.